Hello my friends, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sephora haul. So here's the thing. We went to Disney World a couple of weeks ago and every time we go, they have a Sephora in Disney Springs. And I always feel like I have to do a haul as part of the trip. It has become a tradition. So here we are with a Disney Springs Sephora haul. I picked up a few goodies that were on my loves list that I didn't get during the sale, a couple of new things. Uh, so we've got some stuff to go through. Definitely not as big as my VIV sale haul, but uh, definitely some fun stuff in here. So if you're interested in what I picked up, then just keep on watching. So there's a couple of things I actually ordered um, that weren't part of my in-store purchase. We'll go over those at the end. And I have actually already done videos on them, so they won't be a surprise to you. But let's go ahead and start digging into this bag. Now, I was excited because I had a $100 reward certificate that I had achieved during the sale. So it was kind of nice because I had a couple gift cards. I really didn't spend too much. It was really all gift cards and rewards and things like that. So let's start off with this. And I actually used it for the first time today and I think I really like it. It's the Super Goop Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF 50. You guys know Glo uh, Super, Super Goop is my absolute favorite sunscreen brand, uh, just hands down hands down the best. Now my favorite product of theirs is the, I think it's like the Sunflower SPF, the just basically the lotion. It is absolutely so moisturizing, gives my skin a beautiful glow and I get the big size, like the $58 one. And that lasts me, no joke, like a year and a half, two years. So anyways, but I really was intrigued by this just because I love me a good glazed donut look to the skin. I know I'm weird that way. And I really wanted to see what this would do in that regard. I actually really like it. So I wouldn't recommend it if you've got oily skin. It is a very like, um, it, it's kind of like an oil in a stick form. Um, and I could see this looking really greasy for people really fast. So I kind of, I like that look on me, but I don't have oily skin. So, uh, picked that bad boy up. The SPF on that is high. So that was good. Uh, I got a couple of powders. This one was kind of an impulse buy. This was the Urban Decay All Nighter. Uh, let's see. All Day Shine Control Softening Loose Setting Powder. I don't need shine control again. I don't, I kind of like a little bit of a glazed donut look, but I'm just a fan of trying out setting powders. I don't know what has become of me that I just, I'm like, ooh, I wanna try it, ooh, I wanna try. It says it's lightweight and non-cakey, softens and mattifies, which I'm not huge on a mattified look, but that's okay. All day shine control and a vegan formula. So we'll see what this does. I am a huge fan how funny, the lid isn't screwed on right, but that's okay, it's sealed. Wow, I was like, I'll bet this is open. Um, oh, it is screwed on right, it just doesn't go all the way down, that is so weird. Uh, that's gonna bug me. <laughs> okay, I'm a huge fan of the spray, so I figured I think I should try this powder. So it is in the shade Translucent, it's the only one they have. Um, more to come on that, I don't know. I'll probably do a follow-up haul the way I usually do. And then I did pick up the Elia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Um, I This has been on my loves list for a while. It's Fade Into You, but it's the only one they have in the Soft Focus. They have a couple of other setting powders and there's a couple different shades, uh, but I think this is the only one of its kind. So here's what it looks like. It is feels small. I'll have to go back and see what the comparison is. It's 0.32 ounces as opposed to 0.35 for Urban Decay. And Elia's slightly more expensive, um, but they are an incredible brand. Everything I buy by this brand, I seem to really, really enjoy. Their bronzer, I think it's one of the best bronzers of my life. It's the bronzer I took with me to Disney. I just love the tone and the warmth it gives my skin. So very excited to, something has a little bit of a scent. I can't tell what it is. I'm excited to use that one. It kept on selling out during the sale and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna table that for when I do go to Disney and that way I have something to look forward to. Um, let's see, I picked up the Laneige Radiance C Cream. Now I love the Sunday Riley, I forget what it's called, but it's a vitamin C CEO. I love that cream like a lot. And then I've been wanting to try the Ula Henriksen, um, 
it's a vitamin C also. It comes in a little, I think it's like a gel moisturizer, it comes in an orange little tub. If you've tried that one, please let me know how you like it. Anyways, but I do love the brand Laneige and this one was the most cost effective um, for me wanting to buy several products. So I thought I'm gonna go with this one. Now I think it was like 34 and the packaging is very weighty. It feels very luxe. Now you only get an ounce so I found it to be somewhat comparable, honestly, to the Sunday Riley because the Sunday Riley, I think, is like 67. You get like 1.67 ounces of product. So it's definitely more expensive, but you do get more by paying more. So there is that. But anyways, we'll try this and see how it works. Usually vitamin C products tend to agree with my skin very well, bring out the brightness. So we'll see how this one works. Again, Laneige products I really do love, but they, they can be hit or miss for me when it comes to their skin products. Okay, this is taped down. I was gonna see if it smells like anything, but the little cap actually has a plastic that you have to take off. So we will leave that for another day. I'm going to uh, use this probably as my morning moisturizer. I already have my my night routine down. So let's see, I did pick up, got a few more things here, hold on. Okay, picked up a couple of liners by Too Faced. I have really been wanting to try these out um, for a while and I keep hearing that they, I, so I hear that they do stay in the waterline for a long time and then I hear people say as soon as they put it on, it slides right off. Watch, I'll be the person for which it slides right off, but really wanted to try it anyways. It says it's 36 hour wear. It seems a little excessive. I don't know if that's true, but I did pick up the two shades that, I mean, I was like, I want these two. So Killer Turquoise and Killer Camo, non-flaking, transfer resistant. I have not even swatched these. So let's pull one of these bad boys out. So here's the turquoise. I don't have any kind of, ooh, that was a very, not that you can see that, that was a very light-handed swatch, so that seems promising. It does feel slightly dry, a little, it's creamy because it was, with a light hand it went on, but as I was pressing a little bit more, it did feel a little slightly drying um, and a little bit of a tug. So, but maybe that is what causes it to stay in the waterline. Let's try the olive shade, which is what called camel, killer camel, okay. Ooh, this is gonna make my eye color pop. Can already tell you. That's one reason I love khaki slash olive shades is because they just bring out my eye color so much. But yeah, I think these were 20 each. So I thought, well, if they work then and they stay in my waterline, then that's great. The ColourPop liners are beautiful. They're pigmented. And for the most part, they kind of kind of stay, kind of don't, but at least there's something still there hours later. Those I cannot use. I have determined that I have ruined so many contact lenses with those because I don't know what happens as the day goes on, but it starts transferring onto my contact and it's not something that will rinse off. Like it is stuck on there and it is to stay. So it makes it very uncomfortable. So I'm hoping that these are different from that. I picked up the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist um, Pore Diffusing Primer. I actually like the... Um, I forget what it's called, but the luminizing primer. I actually really like that one. I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, uh, but I do like it. And I thought, you know what? I just want to try this one because I've heard people say it's cooling when they put it on the skin. It's one of those things where curiosity gets the best of you and you pick up a product really just to satiate that curiosity. So this is, uh, yeah, there's no scent. I don't know why I smell that. But um, it looks, the packaging exactly like the other one, except that this is looks cloudy, the formula. So we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, I like trying new things. So there is that. I did pick up the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I picked up 01 Rose Quartz. It was marketed as like the light um, shade and then it went into light medium. But I've heard people say that these run light. So I guess we'll see. I don't know. I haven't been seeing the best reviews on these. So I feel like at this point, I'm not as excited to try it out as I was. And I haven't tried any of this out because, except for Super Goop, I was kind of trying to hold off until I did this haul. This applicator is so interesting. I feel like it's, I like that. It's unique. 
but I debated between this one and the shade something butter. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. I'm a little hesitant now that I've seen people say that it's kind of light. Okay, and the last two products from my bag are Huda Beauty. So I picked up one of the lip liners. I knew I was going to pick one of these up. I didn't during the sale, and I thought, okay, I will table that again for my Disney Springs haul, and that way I have something to look forward to. Hold on. I can't get this thing out. Please hold. <laughs> Oof, that was interesting. Okay, so I had heard there is like a sharpener. I don't know. I think that's what this is on the tail end. Anyways, so I, it seems kind of small to be a sharpener. I, I don't know. I guess that's what it is. Anyways, I picked up the shade Vivid Pink with the intent, not only of using it as a lip, lip liner, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but also using it as a lip color because I liked the shade so much that I thought, you know what, as an all over lip color, I think this would be very flattering on me. Um, a lot of the neutral shades were already sold out. It was kind of slim pickings in store, but this is one of the ones I had intended to pick up and, uh, and they had a couple left. So I did grab that one and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try the one. If I like it, maybe we'll get more, who knows, but, uh, I don't want to go crazy buying like three and then I end up not liking them. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed another one of the lipsticks because I ended up liking the other two that I purchased during the sale so much that I thought, okay, I think I had picked up two of the, did I pick up two of the pinky shades or I picked up Angel and Buttercup, which Buttercup might be more on the nude side. I can't remember. This is on the nude. No, those both were pink because this is Bossy Browns. And I know that neither one of those said that. So I did pick up the shade Empress, which is the lightest of the bunch. Here's what it looks like. It sounds like it's, the cap's a little loose, but that's okay. Um, I do love me a good concealer lip, so no surprise that this is what I picked up. So pretty. This will just go so well with my skin tone, I think. Wow, that's light. That's going to take some building. But the thing about this formula that, that is really light, right? Okay. I like the light tone. I don't know, now swatching it, what the build how many times I'm gonna have to build it up though to get it to show up. So I like this formula because it is a cream, which typically in my mind means, okay, it's got a lot of slip. It's not gonna last very long and I'm not here for that. But with these, it's got a little bit of a grip though um, and they're slightly thicker. So it's almost like they last a little bit longer than a normal cream lipstick would. And I like that very, very much because I love a good moisturizing formula, but I stay away from them just because they don't last. So uh, that is that shade. We'll see. Hmm. I wish that was a little more pigmented. My pink ones, I mean, they are like right off the bat, right out of the gate, they are super pigmented. But anyways, we'll put that one to use and see what happens. Okay, as for the products that I picked up <clears throat> by placing an order, you may have already watched the videos on these, but I did pick up the light and medium version of the Huda Mini Glow or Mini, yeah, Mini Glow Obsessions. Um, I have already done, again, a review on these. I feel like these have so much potential and there's times I really like them and there's times where I'm just like, mm. what I will say about them is that they do sit on top of my skin. I can't move this one too much. It's broke. It arrived completely broken, but um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. That's more of like a blush topper blush type shade. Um, but I do find that they really sit on top of my skin, just like a layer of powder. And I, I don't know because they have the potential to be so good, at least for me. That's just, you know, I mean, they may be performing absolutely like rock star status for somebody else. Here's the medium. Um, so yeah, I don't know. The, I find that the fourth one is the most metallic, which I kind of like. Here's the blush topper. But anyways, these were 29 and I feel like it's, I like the concept. I like the concept of a nice kind of all-in-one highlighter palette that you can just take with you on the go. Though, if they broke in transit, then I don't know if you want to be thinking about traveling with them. But anyways, picked two of those up. Not sure that I needed the medium, quite frankly. I could have just probably stuck with the light. 
Um, but anywho, that's how it goes. All right, so let's move into my final purchase, and that's the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. You've already probably watched the video on that, and I love this palette. So this one released while we were at Disney, and the funny thing is that Trio Chrome palette um, that she released late last year also released while we were at Disney. The only difference is that they got that one in store right away, so I was like, all right, I gotta leave the parks a little early so I can go pick up a palette. <laughs> Anyways, so I very much enjoy this palette. It is so good as far as quality. It's right up there with what you would expect. And um, yeah, so I, of course, had to pick this bad boy up. So that brings us to the end of this Sephora haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it a little bit of fun. I love watching hauls. Definitely not as large as what we're used to, but that's okay. They all can't be that way. <laughs> All right, loves. Well, that brings us to the end of today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Before I let you go, just want to give you a very quick verse of the day. Today's comes from 1 Corinthians 9.24, and it says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. So my question to you is, are you running as to get the prize? Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Is he knocking on the door of your heart and you're not answering that call? It is my prayer that if you, if any of that is true, like I just pray that he would make himself so very real to you, that you would feel so overwhelmed by his presence, by his peace and his love, that you would have no doubt in your mind that it is him who is calling to you. So I just pray that you come to know him as your Lord and Savior. It is the best and most fantastic decision you could ever make. Trust me, I I well know what a relationship with him is like and it is the best thing I could I could tell you. And I tell you that because I love you. I don't tell you to shove anything down your throat. I tell you because I truly love you. All right, friends. Well, I will see you in the very next video. Thank you again for stopping by, for spending some time with me. So until the next one, please stay safe and stay well. See you soon. Bye, friends.